In episode 3 of, Ron Kamenohashi, Deranged Detective, The Principle of Blue, where Ron is based, orders an official investigation into Ron Kamenohashi's activities. The vice principal questions what actions they'll take if Ron is indeed acting as a detective, to which the principal reveals a severe punishment awaits him. Amidst these unfolding events, Ron contacts Totomaru with an emergency at a supermarket. However, this turns out to be a playful deception, and the two friends share amusing banter. But Totomaru is in for a shock when the bill arrives. While paying the bill, the duo enters a raffle and surprisingly wins a hot spring voucher for two. This prize marks the beginning of an adventure, and unbeknownst to them, the authorities at Blue are already on their trail. Their journey takes them to a less than impressive hot spring destination, with muddy waters and a dilapidated building. Here, they encounter the hosts and the blue tracking instructor, setting the stage for intriguing interactions and deductions. As they soak in the hot spring, Ron and Totomaru discuss legends surrounding the place, including one about crimson water, adding an eerie backdrop to the story. During this conversation, Ron reveals a mysterious scar or symbol on his neck with the number 6, significant to his birth. As dinner approaches, the story delves into the peculiarities of their meal orders and Ron's unique eating habits, which include omelette rice covered in black sugar syrup. The atmosphere is filled with curiosity, as Ron's habits seem unconventional. Amidst dinner, Ron observes the other guests in the room, noting that one party is yet to arrive. He initiates a game called the Game of Life, inviting everyone to participate. However, Totomara steps in to suggest an alternative game of ping pong. The story takes an amusing turn when Ron declares a special rule for their ping pong match, the loser will become the winner's slave for life. Ron wins the game, and the ping pong ball rolls out of a broken window. To retrieve the tiny ball, Ron and Totomaru find themselves near a stream, embarking on a late night adventure. This experience leads to discussions about Ron's plans for Totomaru as his personal slave and a peaceful soak in the hot tub. However, the story takes an unexpected and humorous twist when Totomaru and Ron accidentally encounter Amamiya, Totomaru's boss, in a candid moment in the men's bath, causing embarrassment and confusion. The scene shifts to the dining room, where an awkward situation unfolds. Amidst these comical events, one couple becomes entangled in a heated argument. Amamiya's inebriated state leads to a teary outburst, pleading with the couple not to divorce. As the evening progresses, the quarreling couple eventually calms down, leading to a change in atmosphere and a desire for harmony. Ron introduces the game of life once again, but this time, it is met with a mixed response. The story shifts to the next day, where a staff member from the hot spring rushes out in distress, announcing the tragic discovery of a guest's lifeless body. The deceased guest is identified as Sachiko, who was found floating in the stream between midnight and 2 a.m. Ron's desire for a crimson stream is fulfilled, but it comes at a grave cost. He promises Sachiko's dead body that he will avenge her death. Amamiya reprimands Ron for his impulsive actions, but he proceeds to share his deductions with the room. The circumstances of Sachiko's death cast a shadow of suspicion on those present. Totomaru to take the lead in questioning the staff members about the incident. The presence of fallen leaves resembling the legend of the crimson water adds to the eerie atmosphere, with some suggesting the possibility of a curse. The suspicion and tension in the room rise when the instructor points fingers at Amamiya as a potential suspect due to her departure from the room before Sachiko. However, Ron steps in to challenge these suspicions, affirming that he can prove his claim. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.